Coming up next on this special edition of OES News In Depth, we'll take a look at what Mother Nature has brought us in this latest round of wet winter storms, and we'll see what state officials are doing to manage the impacts and what's on the horizon. That's all coming up next right here on OES News In Depth. Hi, I'm Kelly Houston. Thanks for joining us. Well, there's a lot going on behind the scenes when it comes to this wet winter season and what emergency managers are doing to deal with the impacts of all this water filling up our reservoirs. Well, in the middle of all of it is our very own Jonathan Goodell. Jonathan? That's right. This building right behind me may look nondescript, but in fact, there are many key agencies, such as the State Flood Operations Center, working closely with the National Weather Service to monitor this latest round of storms and its impacts. The state's Flood Operations Center is the heartbeat of weather forecasting and water management during major storms. This is where experts in flood control, weather forecasting, and reservoir operators share information and make critical decisions. A key partner in this operation is the National Weather Service, located just feet away from the Flood Operations Center. So we're currently standing in the operations area. We are co-located with the California Nevada River Forecast Center. They are in charge of issuing uh, precipitation forecasts and as well as those critical river forecasts for the area. Um, we are then co-located with the state and federal flood center. Um, that way we can make sure information is flowing freely just down the hallway um, and that we're all on the same page here. That's an important page to be on because officials have been busy dealing with a wide range of effects from flooded roads to reservoirs filling up. For the second time this season, the California Department of Water Resources has had to open gates again at the Sacramento Weir, helping alleviate pressure on an already swollen Sacramento River. The Weir has a total of 48 gates and as of this afternoon, over half have been opened, sending a massive amount of water back into the Yolo Bypass. This makes for an unusual year so far as a series of wet storms have caused impacts throughout the state. Well, what's unusual about this is we've had storm after storm after storm. So the ground is already saturated. So anything that's falling on top of those saturated soils is pretty much running off. So we have seen a lot of mudslides and rock slides up in the mountains and a lot of localized flooding around here because there's nowhere for that water to go. But Mother Nature may be taking a short break as forecasters say changes are in store. So right now we're looking at dry weather probably through at least Wednesday. Models are hinting at another wet storm moving in by the end of next week. And so we really urge people to get out, um, make those repairs that they needed, and then prepare for the next round of rain. That's great advice as always. To stay on top of the latest weather forecasts, visit weather.gov. And to get prepared for the next round of rain, visit our website at caloes.ca.gov. For Cal OES News, I'm Jonathan Goodell.